Lining up, that's it. We're off and racing for this opening. Goff sponsored four year old Mayor's Maiden. And first to show is Jazzy de Calac and Cadillac. And also there is back from the races as they quickly race on towards fence number one. And Jazzy de Calac is over safely. And they settle down and head towards the bend. Shortly going to make their way into the back straight and long by the roadside as Jazzy de Calac leads their way from in second in behind. It is back from the races. They're followed next in the field by Honey Wirt, who's in third. And they're followed next in the field, uh, in behind these, by Visual Impact, who sits in four. As they swing the bend, next in behind these, as they make their way down, is Fancy Prospect. With in behind them, it is Snow Rocco. As they continue their way along the back straight now, and down towards this next fence, that jump, which will be fence number two. And it is in front, Jazzy de Cadillac, who leads the way. Already a five, six length advantage from in second, back from the races. They're followed next in the field, back in third. And behind these by a visual impact with Honey's Wort, and they're followed by You Had Me at a Low Fancy Prospect, and they're followed in behind these by Cloon Anra. And these in turn are followed by Snow Rocko as they continue their way and Colleen Dawn is on the inside of her and the Aaron Turner followed next in the field as they continue their way by Hardy Diamond and the two towards rear as they continue their way it is in behind these it is take two to one so they continue their way up the ho home straight and on over this next fence which will be fence Number three, and also already with a commanding advantage is Jazzy de, Cal de Cadillac, who's a 10 12 length advantage. From in second is back from the races. They're followed next in the field by Visual Impact. You had made hello on Honey Word. They're in turn are followed by Fancy Prospect as they jump this next one, fence number four. And a bit of a mistake, but a good sit there by Darren McGill. So they clear fence number four safely. and. They continue to run up towards this next one, the Paso with Judge's trailer, and the next one to jump is fence number five, and again, just a small bit of a chance there by Jazzy de Calalac, but has reduced advantage now. It's down to about four or five lengths after those sl two slight errors. Followed back in second by back from the races, who in turn is followed next by Visual Impact, who's in third. As they continue to way on towards this next fence, which will be fence Number six, and is Jazzy de Calac a good jump there now by your leader from in second back from the races? Visual Impact touches down in third, but you had made a low on Honey's Word, and they're followed next in the field by Clune Anra, who in turn has followed in behind these. And at the outside, as they continue their way by Hero in the Sky, and in behind these is Snow Rocco, who in turn has followed by Fancy Prospect, and also there Hardy Diamond, who in turn has followed next in behind these by Colleen Dawn. And they in turn are followed as they continue their way. And uh, by behind these, it is take two to one and Vroom Maz Ella. So they continue their way on down across towards this back straight and on towards this next fence to jump, which will be fence number seven. And as they clear it, it is Jazzy de Cadillac with a two, three late advantage from in second back from the races. They have a commanding advantage of about 15 lengths over Visual Impact, who's in third. And they're followed next and behind these by You Had Me at a Low, who's a hits in four. Honey Wirt is five, the grey. But on the outside of her, it is Hero in the Sky. And they're in turn are followed by Clune Anra. And behind these is No Rocco with Hardy Diamond and Fancy Prospect. And they're followed by in behind these. It is Rumaz Ella. And the two tours rear are take two to one. And on the Back marker is Colleen Dawn. So they head over for this next one, which will be fence number eight. And it is Jazzy de Cadillac who leads the way by about a length and a half. I'm in second. It is back from the races. They're the best part of 20 lengths clear now. A visual impact who's in third. You had me low is in four. They're followed by Honey Wirt in five. And then behind these, they're beginning to queue up. It is Hero in the Sky. Within behind these, it is Clune Anra with Fancy Prospect Hardy Diamond. As they clear that fence, which will be that last in the circus time and they race on out towards this next one which will be the one that is five from the finish and as it do so it's in front Jazzy the Cadillac who leads the way from in second it is in behind these back from the races these front two now are just beginning to come back to the field a fraction with touching down and third it is visual impact and they're followed next in the field by you had me at hello and they're followed by hero in the sky as they swing the bend and race on across towards this next fence they jump which will be the fun the fence that will be four out and as they come to it still in front Jazzy the Cadillac slight mistake from in second 
second. It is back from the races. They're followed by Visual Impact, who's back in third. You had made a low here in the sky, who sits next in fifth. And they're followed next in the field in sixth as they are continued away by Fancy Prospect, Clune Anna and Honey's Work making ground. It is Take Two to One and Snow Rock are followed by Colleen Dawn. But in behind these, it is Room Maz Ella and the, the back marker of the field and weakening this Hardy Diamond. But to swing the main race into the back straight, good run on down towards, downhill run towards the fence. It'll be three from the finish. And this opening golf sponsored four-year-old Mayor's Maiden, but still in front is Jazzy Del Cadillac. Leads the way from in second. It is back from the races. These two are followed in the back in third by Visual Impact, who's closed right up. You had made a low, a good jump back and forth, and makes up a bit of ground. We had a faller there, was Honey's Worth, also out of it was Take Two to One. Two out of it there, and also out of it was Clun Anra, Rob James, Turtle O'Connor, and and up in their feet is Andy Ryan, but they continue to wait towards the bottom bend. They're going to swing, but just two fences left to jump, and as we do so, we have a new leader moving through. It is Visual Impact who's taking it up from you. Had made a low in second. They're followed by Fancy Prospect, and they're followed in behind these by backpedaling back from the races as they continue to wait. And behind these is Hero in the Sky, but two to second last, and it is Visual Impact. But on the outside, coming with a well timed run, is you had me at a low. Two out now, Visual Impact is over in front. Lint and half advantage, you had me at a low, is trying to close back in second. Staying on well now is Fancy Prospect into third, and they're followed next by Hero in the Sky. And in behind these is back from the races, and behind them it is Jazzy de Cadillac, but on towards the final fence, and coming through to lead now, it is you had me at a low. Pa King takes it up at the last. Good jump by our leader, over safely from in second, Visual Impact. Fancy Prospects staying on again back in third, but up towards the line. It's going to be a local success here. Pat Doyle, the favourite, obliges in the openers from in second. Judges will confirm second and third. That was tight. Visual impact and fancy prospect. Those three are long way clear of back and forth here in the sky. They're followed by back from the races with Rumaz Ella and Jazzy de Kelalak and Colleen Dawn. The rest were pulled up.